Today, I want to talk a little bit about whether I think going for my PhD in electrical engineering was worth the effort and my personal advice for anyone who's thinking about going to graduate school. So why did I choose to go for my PhD? First, there were some external factors. So both my parents are very academically focused. They both have PhDs, and while they didn't necessarily pressure me into pursuing a graduate degree, I could tell that they always thought that it was a good idea, and to them, I think it was the more respectable route to pursue. They also never gave me any monetary pressure to go into industry. A lot of you might know that as a PhD student, you're making very little money. You're basically making just enough money to live off of. So a lot of people don't have that luxury of being able to go for a degree because they need to start working right out of college to be able to make a living for themselves. So I had parents who were very encouraging and never gave me any monetary reason for not going for a PhD. I also had faculty members in my undergrad program you know, professors that I'd taken classes with, professors I had worked with on projects, who were also encouraging me to apply to graduate school. I had one professor, Brian Evans at UT, who actually has a website dedicated to helping prospective graduate students. He talks about whether or not you should go for a master's or a PhD, how to know what program to choose, how to pick your advisor, tips on how to put together an application. I'll link his website in the description box below. But his advice to me was, if you're even 2% sure that you might want to go for a PhD, then you should just go for it. I think right after you graduate from undergrad is the best time to go for your master's or PhD for a couple of reasons. First, you haven't started really making money yet. Once you get into industry and you get used to having a steady income and a nice paycheck, it can be very difficult to leave that and go back to being a PhD student where you're making barely enough to live off of. A lot of people go into industry thinking they might return to graduate school to get a PhD at a later time. But then a lot of those people find it very difficult to leave their jobs because they're so used to that lifestyle and making money. Another reason why I recommend going to graduate school right after you graduate from undergrad is you're already in that student mindset. So you're already used to taking classes, doing homework, taking exams. It can be very difficult to go back to school if you've been out of it for a while. Another thing a lot of people don't realize is you can also always leave in the middle of pursuing your graduate degree if you don't want to complete it. You might have external factors like parents, friends, family, faculty members that are pressuring you into staying, but I don't think anyone in industry is going to look down on you if you don't complete your graduate degree. So many graduate students do this and it's really not a big deal. For me personally, I also knew I was not ready to go into industry right after I graduated from undergrad. I didn't feel like I was technically proficient enough, and I also didn't think I learned enough of a specialization. I didn't feel like I was an expert in anything. I also really liked just being in school where my only real responsibility was essentially to learn. So those are some of the main reasons why I went to graduate school, and I'll talk a little bit more about how I chose my program and my graduate school experience in other videos. But now looking back, I'm very glad that I stuck it out and got my degree. I gained some of the most invaluable experiences because I was a graduate student. Some of the internships I got to do, the projects I got to work on, people in the industry I got to work with, I never would have had those opportunities had I not been pursuing my PhD. In terms of my career, I also think that my PhD was worth the time and the effort that I spent on it. Because I had gotten my PhD in electrical engineering, I was able to come into the industry at the senior engineering level. And granted, a lot of the students that had graduated with me from undergrad are at that level or have surpassed it long ago. I mean, everyone has their own unique path. But I think if I had entered the workforce right after I graduated from undergrad, I would have been an entry-level engineer. And I'm the type of person who needs a nurturing environment to really thrive. 
So I would have depended on having a great team, a supportive manager, all these external factors that are very difficult to find in industry to be able to grow the career that I wanted at the pace I wanted to grow it. Even now with my graduate degree, I feel like I got extremely lucky with the team and the company that I joined. But I think it still would have been harder for me to make contributions and grow the way I wanted to if I had been at that entry level position. I think my main advice for anyone who's wondering whether or not they should go to graduate school is if you're at all curious, just apply. And then talk to faculty members and graduate students in the field that you're interested in and they'll be able to paint a much more accurate picture of what graduate school will be like. And I also don't think you should feel like you wasted your time if you did go to graduate school and then decided to leave before completing your degree. You would simply have found something that you realized was not right for you. And that's an extremely valuable piece of information too. I hope you found this information helpful. Thanks for checking out my channel and I'll see you in the next video.